Today's homework video is an introduction into 3D shapes. Previously we've only been learning about 2D shapes, now it's time to take it to the next dimension and to introduce you to a whole new crew of shapes. Alright, so here are the primary 3D shapes. We have the sphere. The sphere is like a circle, but the most important thing to remember about 3D shapes is that these are like real life items. 2D is like a piece of paper. It's flat, it only has one side to it. 3D has multiple sides and multiple faces, which we'll learn about in just a few slides. So the sphere is kind of like the equivalent of the circle, but remember it's 3D. We also have the cube. The cube is a 3D version of a square. We have a cylinder. Cylinder might look familiar to you. This looks maybe like a can or something similar to that. Maybe like a Pringles container would be like a cylinder. We have a pyramid. A pyramid has multiple sides and faces, usually on some kind of a base like a square or triangle. And then we also have cones. Cones have a circular base and then it has just a smooth surface all the way up. Think of like an ice cream cone. So let's talk about the parts of a 3D shape. We have three main parts here. This is going to be important for you to write down. We have three main parts here. Faces, vertices, and edges. So I have here a cube. And we're going to start right here with the faces of the cube. The face is the flat surface of a 3D shape. So that means that any part here that the shape could then be like sat on top of would be the face. Now a cube has six faces. So I have one in the front, one back here in the back. I have the two sides and then I have a top and a bottom. So one, two, three, four, five, and then six in the back here. Edges are the lines where the two faces meet. So I have a face here and a face here this is the line where the two faces meet. This is an edge. This 3D shape, this cube, has 12 edges. And then finally we have the vertex or the vertices. We already knew what vertices were because we talked about that when we talked about triangles. But vertices are the point where three or more faces meet a corner. So a vertice would be like this little point right here or maybe like this little point up here where three of those lines meet at a corner. This shape has eight vertices. All right, so a cube is a 3D shape with six faces, is what we were just talking about. Each face of a cube is a square. This means all the edges of the cube are the same length. Remember, a square has all of the same length sides. So that means that if a cube is just made up of a bunch of squares, that all of the edges are going to be the same length, no matter what. All of the angles in the corners are going to be right angles. Remember, because that's kind of what a square is. All right, next up we have pyramid. So a good way to remember these, you could think of like the pyramids in Egypt those big tall things, the sculptures, those are pyramids. Now pyramids can have different kinds of bases. The base of a pyramid is the bottom piece that it sits on top. The base of the pyramid can be any straight sided shape. In this example the base is a square. So in this one right here the base is a square. If you could imagine an imaginary line here, this would be the base right here. This is a square. Now, other faces are triangles that meet at the point on the top. So, the even though the base might be a square here, all of the faces along the sides are triangles and they meet up at the top at a vertice. Next up we have cylinders. Cylinders have two flat ends on the top and the bottom. These two ends are usually circles. This example has a circle at each of the end, kind of like a Coke can. 
the flat ends are connected by a curved surface. So this isn't a straight, this isn't a straight corner here, like where these ends meet. This isn't going to be a vertice because it is a curved corner. So it goes all the way around the circle. All right, I want you now to match the shape with the name. Go ahead and pause the video. And then in your notes, I want you to try to draw the picture and then also name it. All right, hopefully you have paused the video and figured this one out. We're gonna match some of these names here. So the first one that I'm seeing here is the sphere. The sphere is this shape, oops. It is this shape right here. It's, remember, the equivalent of the circle, so it's like a ball. Next we have the cone. The cone is this shape right here, kind of like an ice cream cone. I also see a cylinder right here. And a cube. I also see a square pyramid, remember, and I also see a triangular pyramid. Now, pyramids are named by their bases, so if I can see that this one right here is a square base, this is going to be a square pyramid. And then this one has a triangular base, so this is going to be a triangular pyramid. Okay, next I see a triangular prism and a rectangular prism. So my rectangular prism is going to be this one right here because this is a rectangle. I'm going to abbreviate that. And then my triangular prism is this one right here. I'm going to abbreviate that one too. All right, congratulations, you have now completed the slides on 3D shapes. It is now time to go to Canvas and take your quiz. Good luck.